I hope you had a, I hope you had a great Labor Day weekend. It was a big weekend for President o Obama, who attended the annual G20 summit in China. And I've got to say, things got a little testy when he had an encounter with Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin in a hallway. Check this out. I mean, look at that. Pretty tense. <laughs> That's not a photo, that's actually video. <laughs> right, but that stare's still going on right now. <laughs> Can we see that picture again? Look at it here, look. Now, <laughs> either Obama and Putin are demonstrating a stern exterior to signal unwavering toughness in the face of stark geopolitical differences, or they just want a bone. <laughs> Donald Trump appears to be closing the gap with Hillary. He recently visited Great Faith Ministries, uh, which is a predominantly African-American church in Detroit, Michigan, and even danced along during the service. See if you can pick out which one is Donald Trump. <laughs> just look like somebody who's never attended an African-American church. He looks like someone who's never heard music before. <laughs> like, after watching that dance, the whole congregation no longer believes there is a God. <laughs> I gotta say, I mean, I danced less awkwardly at my junior high prom, and that was with both pleated slacks and an erection. <laughs> Now, someone else who went along to the trip to Detroit was Dr. Ben Carson, who gave an interview on CNN about Trump's visit, but seemed to have other things on his mind. Take a look. We just saw Mr. Trump here. I asked him, how did it go? And he said, great. And he said he learned a lot of things. What do you think he took oh, away from, from my, today? My luggage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> OK. <laughs> Looks like Dr. Carson is going to try and find his luggage, and he'll be right back with us. I love it so much. This is going to be my new party move. Like, if I'm with someone and they're like, so I just started this new juice cleanse, I'm going to be like, my luggage. <laughs> it works every time. Uh, but, like... <laughs> ben Carson isn't the only one on the Trump wagon. Apparently, God is too, because there is a photo making the rounds on Twitter this weekend of a clown that looks like Donald Trump, and a Trump surrogate claimed that it's proof that God wants Trump for president. Here's the photo. Right? <laughs> I know, it's pretty amazing. Well, I don't know if this is a good omen, though, because after that picture was taken, a lightning bolt shot out of it and hit a daycare centre. <laughs> Can we see the... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Can, we... Can we see the photo again, right? Have a look. Now, look, what's that at the very bottom there? <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> it's the tip of a cloud penis. <laughs> Which sells it, it's definitely Trump. Like, look, I'm gonna say, I was totally convinced that this was a sign that Trump should be president, but then we actually got a copy of the entire photo, and it looks like it's been cropped a little. Uh, here's the entire shot. 